If you want a good life, if you want to be lucky and be more rich, you have to watch this video. to help make my wish come true, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment under this video. Hello everyone, today I'm at the City Pirla Shrine and this place is kind of like overlooked by the tourists because it's actually pretty close to the Grand Palace. If you can see over there, it's the entry of the Grand Palace and a lot of tourists like to go there but actually this place is really close to each other here and Grand Palace over there. So next time, if you have a chance to come here, if you come to the Grand Palace, don't forget to stop by here because this place is also free. So you can see a lot of local Thai people doing the prayer here and you can try something new because it's really close to the Grand Palace. And this is the entrance of the City Pillar Shrine. But before we get in, just look at the back. It's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna take a picture here so you will know that this is actually also one of the good spots for taking a picture. And the picture you will get will look like this. I'm walking inside of the Pila Shrine, but before we talk about the details on how to pray, let me show you the special ceremony held by Pichon and see how it looks like. When you come here, you should dress properly. You shouldn't dress too review, like me. Oh, I forgot to mention this place is open daily from 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now I'm going to show you step by step on how to pray here and I'm gonna go get the flower over there. And now I'm going to show you that you can come here, pay 60 baht and then you will get this tray. This tray is actually have everything you need for praying and I'm going to show you everything here. First, you're gonna get a flower garland, two of the flower garland here, vegetable oil for the lamp. And this one is the gold leaf, candle and incense stick. More than that, you will get a lotus flower. And this thing you see here under everything here is a three color fabric. So just 60 baht and you get everything ready for praying here. And since we got everything here and everything is ready, let me tell you that this place, if you want to pray, they actually have five steps. And if you can see at the back here, you will see the number one is me. Like this is the first place that you should come pray and this is the first step. And as you can see, like everything is in Thai. Maybe that's the reason why a lot of tourists didn't come here because it's all in Thai. But don't worry because I'm here and I'm your friend from Thailand. So I'm gonna tell you everything in English so you will understand it and then you will come here and have no problem to pray here. And if you can see here, there's a lot of shoes here since this place is a holy place, it's a sacred place. So always take off your shoes. Now we're ready, let's go. And this first step, what you have to do is just, all you need is just lotus flower. You have to bring the lotus flower to offer to the Buddha over there. Let me show you. And then if you can see over here, it's the birthday Buddha. They will have the Buddha for people who are born on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now I just got the coin. I just exchanged the 20 baht for one baht coin, like this. And I'm going to go to my birthday Buddha, which is Friday. I was born on Friday, so this is 
all the coin that I'm going to offer to the Buddha? Oh, first of all, I have to pray first. I just pray, tell them my name, and then just make a wish for the thing that I want. And I hope it become true. Here, number two, next step, let's go. And for this step, you just need the candle and incense stick. As you can see the sign here, they said, please do not light the incense stick and candle to reduce the pollution. So we're just gonna put it here. Now I'm going to put the gold leaf on the Buddha. And here the gold leaf we have. We're gonna glit it on the Buddha here. My mom always do this for me when I was young. When the gold like stick on your finger like this, they put it on your forehead for the good luck. And the last thing to do for the step two is this three color fabric. We're gonna go tie it around the pillar. And Thai people believe that when you tie it, you do not tie it too tight because it's gonna be like if you have a problem in life, it's gonna be too tight and it's gonna be too hard to solve it. So if you have a chance to come here, just know that don't tie it too tight. I didn't tie it too tight because I want my problem to be easy to solve. <laughs> Finish. And now let's go to the third step. But as you can see, like this is, I told you that this is the pillar, right? But this is not the real one. Actually, the real one is right inside here. And I'm going to show you now. And Thai believe, guys, do not step on this. You have to walk across this or you're gonna have a bad luck. And as you can see here, they have two pillars inside, which is this one was built in King Rama IV era, and another one over there was built in King Rama I era. So I'm going to offer the flower for each of the pillars. And now I'm going to walk you to the fourth step here, which is inside is the five guardians i don't have enough flower now so maybe like if you really want to offer the flower you can buy it extra five extra because have five guardians inside and let me show you how it look like inside and here's the last step this step is where you're going to fill up the vegetable oil into the lamp like this Actually, you can choose if you want it to fill only for your birthday. Like, I was born on Friday, I can't just fill on the Friday Buddha, but actually every, everything is kind of full, so <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Offer it for every Buddha here. So maybe I'll have more protection from different Buddha. <laughs> and this is the extra one for Dispel the Myth Fortune. As you can see, there's no Buddha, so it's the extra one. I'm gonna fill everything in like this and now we're done with all the step now I'm going to make a wish real quick I just make a wish that I hope our channel get more view get more subscriber and get more comment for this video also so both you and the Buddha can make my wish come true if you want to help make my wish come true don't forget to like subscribe and comment under this video all right guys I'm done with my ceremonies, right? It's really hard for you to see, so I take you along. That was San Lak Mueang. After this, we usually walk to Wat Pa Gao or the Emerald Buddhas. People start to come, it is 10 right now, right? Tourists start to come. And as you see, there are Tuk Tuk drivers and a lot of Thai people trying to approach to sell things and get you in their friend shop right if you do not check out my scam video you can check that video out you know more about scam 
in Thailand. Okay, I will show you a little bit of what Pra Gao to end this video. If people are too nice to you around here, right, just to be, to be careful. They're soon going to ask you to to make you to believe them, right? And they're going to bring you to some of their friend shop to get at some cut of everything you buy, right? Now I'm walking you to see the beauties of the main attractions in Bangkok. With only about 100 meters walk away from San Lak Mueng here. After five minutes, we are here, right? We can just turn left here. They got a sign here to tell you that. Thang Pai Wat Thak Gao, there, yeah? Right, like you see this lady here, right? She wear short, so she need to cover her part to enter the Gang Palace. Okay, just so you know, right? You have to have your proper dress code to come here. I think you guys might already know, right? They have prohibited outfit, right? So the dress here have to be appropriate. From this point on, right, my video qualities will be dropped, okay? Because they're not allow all the equipment, right? Apart from a certain outfit, they're not allow selfie sticks, microphone, and big cameras equipment. Right, once you walk in that pagoda over there, that is the Emerald Buddha or Wat Prakel. Right, but the main entrance and everything is where you need to buy your ticket is here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy Bangkok, right? Eh? Yes, thank you. All right. I'm going to end this video here, right? The entrance of Gan Palace and Emerald Buddha is just here. You need to pay 500 baht. However, I don't want to make this video too long, okay? Please be sure to stay tuned by subscribe to the channel, right? Hit like to this video. Check out other videos. My name is Chun, your new friends from Thailand, right? You can be my friends like those of my subscribers from Philippines. Bye-bye for now. Sorry,